Jamie Dornan has a face that fans could never forget. He has a face really no one can forget. He began his acting career in 2006 and has starred in a number of movies and series including Once Upon a Time. He rose to fame by playing Christian Grey, the handsome billionaire with a dark secret in the Fifty Shades of Grey trilogy. After the commercially successful Fifty Shades franchise, Dornan has worked on smaller projects both in Hollywood and in his hometown in Ireland. Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about Jamie Dornan. He dropped out of college. During college, Dornan was a rugby player who did his fair share of drinking when he wasn't playing rugby. But after a year of college, he decided a university education wasn't for him at that point in time. After dropping out, he knew he wanted to do something else with his life, but he didn't know what the something else would be. His dad was concerned with his lack of a plan in life after dropping out of school and pushed him to do anything. Reality TV was on the table, a reality show called Model Behavior. He's a former underwear model. This comes as no surprise, obviously. Not only was Dornan a model, but he specifically modeled underwear as well. The Irish actor actually used to be an underwear model for clothes giant Calvin Klein before going on to pose for Armani and Dior. Interestingly, Dornan didn't even really enjoy modeling that much. Even though he's got a pretty killer body, he told E! Online that he still feels like the skinny kid he was back in high school. He was a member of a folk band. One of his many talents does include music, and he was actually in a folk group called Sons of Jim. He formed the band in 2005 with a school friend, and then later even scored an opening act slot on tour with Scottish singer-songwriter, K.T. Tunstall. His band ended back in 2008, but you can still catch some of their tunes if you look hard enough. His Big Break Before he merged himself into the hunky Christian Grey, he played a number of other roles. His big break was actually in the Sofia Coppola film Marie Antoinette which he appeared in alongside actress Kirsten Dunst. The movie, which loosely follows the life of the French queen, has a pretty strong cult following in the nearly decade after its release. Dornan played the role of Count Axel von Fersen, the French man Antoinette has an affair with. And it was this role that got him noticed. He wasn't first in line for the role of Christian Grey. By now, fans of the series are well aware that Dornan was not the original choice for the character of Christian Grey. The first person considered was none other than Sons of Anarchy's Charlie Hunnam. In fact, he was slated to play the role before turning it down only one month later, thus Dornan was called back. He was in a relationship with Kara Knightley. Dornan used to date actress Kara Knightley from 2003 to 2005. This was his first real taste at fame and how the paparazzi treat celebrities on a daily basis. The two seem happy, but Dornan does remark on how much of a negative impact the press had on their relationship. He later married English actress and singer-songwriter Amelia Warner at a country house in Somerset on April 27, 2013. The couple is blessed with three daughters. He's insecure about his walk. During his appearance on The Graham Norton Show back in 2014, Dornan revealed his major insecurity, his walk. He said his walk is quite bouncy and that he's always had a complex about it. It wasn't until he took dance lessons to prepare for his role in Fifty Shades of Grey that he received some handy advice about his crippling complex. His instructor suggested he focus on a heel-to-toe movement and it seems to be working rather well for Dornan. In the interview, he said, no one ever told me that. I was always toe to more toe. Now I just apply that every day. He needs facial hair to feel comfortable. During Fifty Shades of Grey, Dornan largely had to remain clean-shaven and baby-faced. In real life, however, Dornan hates being without a beard. Not having a beard takes him back to his teenage days of being called cute by his sister's friends. In an interview with The Guardian, he said, I feel uncomfortable without it. I find myself moving differently. I don't like myself without a beard. He loves rom-coms. Jamie Dornan has a strong appreciation for rom-coms. At least he's not afraid to admit it. If you ask the average man what genre they like when it comes to movies, the stereotypical answer would be action or adventure. Not rom-com. It was back in 2015 when the Fifty Shades actor admitted to liking rom-coms. He told Popsiger, I think when romantic comedies are done well, it's a great genre. When Harry Met Sally is kind of a benchmark for me, but I'm very happy to admit that I love Pretty Woman. I do. It's a great film, and so is Sixteen Candles. I was a big John Hughes fan, still am. I have moments where I have to watch a Hughes film. 
he had a small part in the 2015 rom-com Burnt. After the success of Fifty Shades of Grey, Dornan saw more acting opportunities come his way. One of these was a small cameo role in the 2015 Bradley Cooper and Sienna Miller romantic comedy, Burnt. His role was part of Miller's character's backstory, but unfortunately, it was cut out of the final version of the movie. Burn director John Wells told Entertainment Weekly, in making every film, cuts and adjustments in storylines inevitably occur. In the case of Burnt, Jamie's role was a small cameo that he was kind enough to do for us and was part of Sienna Miller's character's backstory. We ultimately decided to focus on Adam Jones' redemption story.